Whispers of Woe, the Cursed Tome of Shadows. It seemed like a normal night in the small town of Willow Creek as 11-year-old Timmy wandered the streets with his friends. They were dared to explore the old abandoned mansion on the outskirts of the town, known for its eerie past and rumored hauntings. Timmy, being the bravest of the group, eagerly accepted the challenge. As they cautiously entered the mansion, the air became thick with a sense of foreboding. The creaking floors and broken windows only added to their fear. But as they explored the musty rooms, they stumbled upon a hidden door in the basement. Without hesitation, Timmy pushed open the door and ventured inside, his friends following closely behind. What they found inside was a room with walls lined with shelves filled with strange jars and bottles. In the center of the room lay an old wooden table with a book placed on top. Timmy's curiosity got the best of him as he picked up the book. It was bound in human skin with a contorted face on the front. The spine of the book read, The Book of Shadows. Timmy's friends quickly backed away, but he was too intrigued to let the book go. As he flipped through the pages, he found that it was written in a language he couldn't understand, with dark illustrations of demons and occult symbols. In that moment, he felt a strange pull towards the book, as if it was calling out to him. Ignoring his friend's pleas to leave the book behind, Timmy stuffed it into his bag and eagerly ran out of the mansion. The storm had intensified, and the wind howled as Timmy ran back to his house, his friends hot on his heels. Once inside his room, Timmy pulled out the book and started to carefully read through the pages. As he read, he began to feel a sense of unease, as if someone was watching him. He shrugged it off as just being scared from the dare and continued to read. It seemed to be a spell book, with instructions on how to summon and control demonic entities. Timmy was too fascinated to stop reading, and as he read out loud one of the spells, he could feel the room grow colder and the candle on his desk flicker. But before he could do anything else, he heard a deafening noise outside. The lights in his room flickered and died, leaving him in complete darkness. Shaken, he quickly closed the book and hid it under his bed. The next morning, Timmy woke up to find his room in disarray. His lamp was broken and his bed linen was shredded. At first, he thought it was just a nightmare. But when his mother saw the state of his room, she scolded him for making a mess. Timmy tried to explain what happened, but she dismissed it as his imagination. However, the strange occurrences didn't stop there. Objects would mysteriously move around his room, and Timmy started to see a figure out of the corner of his eye, watching him. He couldn't shake off the feeling that he was being followed wherever he went. One night, as Timmy lay in bed, he heard a whispering voice coming from under his bed. He peeked down, and to his horror saw the book moving on its own. The skin on the book seemed to be alive, contorting and writhing as the book spoke to him. Do you want to see true power, Timmy? Do you want to control your own destiny? The voice whispered seductively. Timmy couldn't resist the temptation and agreed to the book's wishes. In a blinding flash, the book disappeared. Timmy felt a surge of dark energy coursing through his body. The next morning, Timmy woke up to find his hair had turned white and his eyes were now a deep red. He felt a newfound sense of power and superiority, but it came at a great cost. Timmy's behavior became unpredictable and erratic, and his family and friends started to fear him. But as Timmy embraced his new powers, he didn't realize that the book had a hold over him. It needed a vessel. Timmy was the perfect candidate. As days passed, Timmy's physical appearance started to change. His limbs twisted and contorted, his skin changed to a sickly gray, and his face became a horrifying mask, just like the one on the book. Timmy's family and friends were too scared to confront him, but a group of local teenagers heard of his transformation and decided to put an end to his reign of terror. Armed with holy water and crosses, they ambushed Timmy in the abandoned mansion. As they tried to exorcise the demon that had possessed Timmy, he let out a demonic scream and disappeared into thin air, along with the book. From that day on, the mansion was never seen or heard from again. Timmy was never found. Some say that he still roams the streets of Willow Creek, searching for his next victim, 
while others claim that his screams can still be heard on stormy nights. But one thing is for sure, the Book of Shadows still exists, waiting for its next unsuspecting victim to unleash its dark powers. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.